So, ever dreamed of implementing advanced AIs thanks to the famous behavior tree pattern in Unity? Behavior trees are a well-known concept that power a lot of AIs in games and are often regarded as one of the big revolutions in the domain at the beginning of the millennium. As the name implies, behavior trees are a network of nodes that starts from a root and then spreads downwards with each internal node having more or less children, until you eventually hit the leaves of the tree at the bottom that have no children. The idea is that those nodes in the middle define the flow of the logic, while the leaves at the end define its actual execution. And this logic execution usually relies on two types of actions, the checks and the tasks. So for example, consider this basic AI task. If the player is in your FOV range, then walk towards it, else keep patrolling. That's a typical AI guard logic that you would expect in many games, and with a behavior tree, you could implement it as follows. At the top, you need a route to take care of the global or logic, and thus direct the logic flow either towards chasing the player or towards patrolling. This patrol behavior could be handled by a single patrol node, which is an action leaf node, and so that's the entire right subbranch. In the left branch, related to chasing the player, you want to first check if the player is in range, and only then walk to it. To do this, you need another flow node that does an end check. This way, if the distance check leaf node returns true, meaning the player is in range, this end check will pass, and the AI will indeed run its chasing action leaf node. But if the player is too far away, the end check will fail, and this branch logic will get interrupted, and instead the other patrol fallback behavior will run. Now, as explained in my book on the basics of game AI, something really cool with behavior trees is that they are inherently modular. You can super easily interchange, improve, re-import and reuse subbranches, or even entire trees in bigger ones to create your AI's behavior. You can thus represent very complex behaviors and yet keep the system completely manageable since each chunk stands on its own. These improvements can also be done very gradually by adding branches and replacing nodes with more complex ones, which is great for iterative development. And a behavior tree is also perfect for debugging, since you literally get to watch the AI's decision making in real time. However, behavior trees do need a bit of preparation before you'll get anything, in particular because you first need to prepare a library of internal nodes to direct your logic flow in various ways. And they also require quite the experience if you want to properly isolate each feature of your behavior in the right node, and really get the modularity benefits that I mentioned earlier. In Unity, behavior trees are not that hard to implement once you get the hang of it, but I'm not gonna go into too much details here, cause this video is already a bit long, and of course, as usual, you can find a demo with the code and assets for free on my GitHub over here. Oh, and if you're curious about coding AI in Unity, you might want to check out this other video I made on finite state machines. Of course, if you enjoyed this tutorial, don't hesitate to hit the like button and subscribe to get more game creation content. As always, thanks a lot for watching. And take care.